Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new mini PC that we have received from Azul Group and it is called Byte Plus. It is another phenomenal, very, very small and very compact mini PC. So in today's video, we will be unboxing plus we will be reviewing this box. Right, as you can see, the box is nicely designed going all the way around. Once we take it out, you can see that the box itself is just sitting there. And when we take that off, it has a little blue box right beside it. We will take that out. It has the power adapter in it, which is 12 volts. So let's just put everything together, the power adapter. So inside of this box, the components that are part of this is the Byte Plus box itself, plus comes with a power adapter. And also it comes with a little paper that will give you some little information on what you can get with this box. If you need help, who to contact. And also if you look on the back of it, it does have some questions and answers if you do need it. It also comes with a very small user guide that's just two sided. On one side, you will see the picture and on the back of it, you do have some information on how you can set up your screen. If you flip it in the back, the components that are part of this package itself, also what type of processor you got. And on the other side, it have all the information of what type of connections you got in the box itself. So we will cover it next. All right, so let's just get to the box. From the top, it has no writing. It just have a little sticker. You just have a little warning on the top. You can take that off. In my case, I'm gonna leave it alone for now. And go onto the front, you do have a nice looking button to turn on and turn off the unit itself. And it has the official logo on it. And we go to the right side of it. It has nothing but just a little slot so you can put your many SD card. It does read up to 100. 128 gigabyte go into the back part of it here comes the best part the connections that are part of this is you have the antenna which is created for the 802.11 bgn connection right beside that you do have the vga port and then right beside that you have one usb 2.0 port going at the bottom part of the antenna you do have the headset jack and then right underneath of it you do have the kingsington lock so this way you can lock it up right beside that you have two usb 3.0 ports then you have the LAN connection which is 10 100 right beside it you do have the HDMI connection which is 1.4 and then you have the DC connection which is 12 volt now going on the other side of it, it has nothing there when you flip it upside down it's very nicely designed so that way anywhere that you put it it does not slide down beside that you do have two little connectors so this way you can hook this up either to a wall or back of your TV so this way you don't see the device itself so it just looks like the monitor itself. I do not want to forget that you can connect this to double monitors and yes, you can use it as an extended monitor. So this way you have two connections. In order to do that, you do have to connect the VGA port and one monitor and the HDMI connection on the secondary monitor in order to get advantage of that. All right, so let's just get this connected. So first, if you do have your mouse and your keyboard as a dongle, go ahead, connect that and then make sure that you connect your HDMI or VGA, whichever when you prefer. In this case, we're connecting HDMI and then connect your power. And now on the front, when you look, you have a red button and you have to hold it for three seconds in order to turn it on. On the first screen, you will get the official logo for Azul and you will see that it does indicate that they are running version 4.4.1 on this. And at the bottom, you will have the little roller for Windows. We will wait till this goes through. And yes, it will detect to see what type of monitor you're connecting to it. So this way it will run for you in better resolution since this is Windows 10. And this is the first screen you will get. Now again, not to bore you guys, we will fast forward all these scenes to make it faster. And there you go. This is the first boot into Windows itself. So let's just quickly set this up and change a few things. So grab your mouse. First, we will go into the taskbar itself and we will try to right click on it. You will get this little menu. Go under Cortana and make sure that you select under show icon only. So this way all the search bar just goes away. That's the first thing we will change. Second, let's see if we can change the background really quick. So we will go under personalize once you right click on the main screen takes a couple of seconds to come up and you can select any of these to change it to a picture. So we will put it under underwater and we will click this off to get out. So there you go. Now it's just slowly start setting up and any icons that you have under this you can grab it, drag and drop it on the taskbar. So this way it just all most of them will come up on a taskbar and any notification you have, you can turn it off. Now in order to set this up, it will take you a few minutes. So we don't want to bore you guys. So you can see that the windows always have the same look. So on the top, 
left hand side you will have the recycling bin and with the older windows you had the a few icons here they got rid of it which makes sense now so all of them are under windows button itself so when you click on it you have the all applications so this is all you can see whatever is installed and you want to go through it open it up also you have the power when you click on it it will tell you if you want to restart or totally shut down or just go to sleep mode it also have the settings so when you click on it it takes you to the regular settings so you can get some information about this unit itself so for the meantime we will go under system and also we will go under about this is where you're going to come to see what Windows you're running, what's the name of your PC, if you want to rename it, it's right there too, what type of organization it's set up under, always, always it's set up under work group, and also what type of Windows edition you have. In this case, with this box comes Windows 10 Home Edition, the version that you're running, the OS build version, the product ID, which I have to blur out right now, also the processor name, which is Intel Atom. It is X5Z8300. It's running, or I should say the CPU is closed locked under is 1.44 gigahertz we will be processing this under cpu's that in a few seconds you can see the ram is there what type of version you got which is 64 bit all that information is here the storage that are part of this is 32 gig but once it's formatted and once everything is installed it does show that it's 29.1 gigabyte 12.8 gigabyte is used remember that if you do have external hard drive go ahead and connect it on the usb 3.0 so this way you have a faster access in order to connect that make sure that your external storage is 3.0 to get the full accessibility through that connection all right so now we will launch the cpu z so you can see it right now is just loading and as soon as it comes up and this is what you're going to see first on the screen the name is intel atom x5 z8300 it is part of intel pentium itself and it is an atom processor inside of it the code name is called cherry trail and yes it is using the socket 1380 bga and going down it has all the information that you require in regards to what type of family model stab version revision everything is going to be here what type of extractions and everything is there if you go to the bottom of it you can see the clock core that is running how many multiplier and also the bus speed everything is here if you go under cache itself you can see that it is running under three cache and the first one is under 24 bytes second one's on 32 and the third one is under 1024 kilobyte which is about one megabyte itself going under motherboard the manufacturer is as well and you can see the model number is called a cherry trail cr and everything is there underneath of it usual the bios is american megatrend which is one of the highest ones right now the memory is there too this is for the ram itself you can see the type is ddr3 and the size is about two gigabyte and this is how it's going to show and the the frequency is there and anything else that you need underneath of it the graphics card itself is again done by intel part of the motherboard it's called intel hd graphics and it is a one gigabyte of memory all right so we will get out of that too now one more thing we're going to do next is going to be speed test all right so first we will do the speed test via wi-fi so you can see on the side that we are connected via wi-fi and there you go it says connected and once that's done we will wait for the okla to come up it says begin test so we will click on that and we give it a few seconds for it to go through now we are a little bit far from the internet itself so yes it shows that we are about 44 megabits download right now so we just wait so 44.60 megabits per second download and now goes to upload which should be around 20 megabits per second so it is about 17 to 18 megabits per second right now so we will wait till this is done so about 14.41 megabits upload speed via the wi-fi on this box now let's try this with the ethernet so make sure your ethernet is connected and at the bottom when you look near to the clock you will see that it does show that we are connected via wire it changed from wi-fi to wire so if you click on it it should tell you that the wi-fi's are available and this one says connected so we will click and say disconnect and there you go and now when we go back none of them are connected and you can see that this is connected via wire so now let's go back and say test again now this is via wire remember that our internet is 300 megabits per second but since the connection to this ethernet itself it does not go over 100 megabits that's the speed we will see and yes we are have some friends here that are using the internet so that's why our internet download speed shows as 91.49 megabits per second since this is hooked up via wire and now the upload speed we will just wait for it in a few seconds 
and our upload speed shows as 15.25 megabits per second so it's not that much of a difference via wireless again we're not that far from the Wi-Fi from our router itself but this is the speed we are getting it's a perfect number which is awesome all right so this is it for the connection via wire and wireless you can see that it has been tweaked such a nice way and is working perfectly with the windows that you don't see that much of a difference and you don't see any drops or mistakes done by this box itself so we we'll close this one more thing I do not want to forget is since this is Windows you do require to have a antivirus by default Windows always brings up the Windows Defender which is one of our favorites so that we do not have to spend more money buying any of the antiviruses this one works perfectly and it always gets the updates right away now if you could not find it through this list itself it is very easy by just going right here just clicking on Cortana and type Defender and there you go it just comes up so select it takes a couple of seconds for it to come through and you can scan anything right now full customize if there's any updates you can click here and you can update it and also the history if you want to quarantine something which is perfectly set up on this box so this way you don't have to use more space from the internal storage on top of that everything has been secure and there you go now it's turned on and a bottom on this box itself remember that this do come with the Bluetooth so this way you can connect your headset or if you want to connect your mouse keyboard that are Bluetooth with this so it can work perfectly now this unit is created perfectly to use for your daily word processing or watching movies via Netflix or you want to install Kodi, anything like that, this will work perfectly. Again, it's a very, very small and compact little device. You can use it as your HTPC and you can move it from one place to another since it is a very small little device. For the price and for what aspects it comes through, it's very recommended for anyone that are looking for a very small and compact PC to purchase. It is available on Amazon. I will be placing a link in the bottom for the two versions that they have. The first one is the one we have, which comes with 2 gigabyte of RAM and 32 gigabyte of internal storage. And also they have a second version, which is a little bit higher, which have 4 gigabyte of RAM and 64 gigabyte of internal storage. Links will be available in the bottom where you can purchase it from if you're in Canada or United States. This will help you out big time. So this was our take on the Azul mini PC called Byte Plus. And yes, it is a Byte Plus. It's a jam-packed little PC. I am sure you're going to enjoy it once you have it on your hand. For the meantime, we are making this our main PC to use and for our day-to-day -day basis, answering questions and everything online. We are very thankful of Azul to send us this little unit so we can review it. Again, for the meantime, we have been using it for almost four days and there is no stop to this. I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the, click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xetext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Vine, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.